Hey everyone, GG Jabber here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my Pokemon sidebars and how I edit them into my videos. Okay, first you're going to want to use Paint.net. It's basically paint, but a whole lot better. Just so you can make the sidebars. And then next you're going to want to use Camtasia Studio 7 to edit them into your videos. That's what I use. There's plenty of other ways to do it, but I'm just not for sure how to do it. Alright, next you're going to want to go to Image, Resize, and you're going to make the width 108, and you want to make the height 476. And there you go, you got the base of your sidebar. Okay, there's many ways to edit this. You can copy and paste pictures onto it and resize them to make the whole screen. Basically like this. You can do copy. You can do this to any picture. Then paste in a new layer. You always want to paste into a new layer. Keep him the size. And then if you found a cool picture and you just want to edit it in, you can do things like that. Or if you don't really want that, you could let me just undo all this. You could use the gradient tool. This tool right here. Uh find a cool color you like. like this and then click anywhere on the screen like that and you can move it around you can give it a lot of white a lot of blue, whatever you want to do Let's see that looks cool now if you want to add words you can want to use the select tool give you a good selection you're going to want to come down to the text tool down here find the color that will write on it and then type whatever you want G G. Jabbers team. Yeah, Alright, there you go. You make it the text bigger and all that stuff. Uh, change the font if you want to, too. And how I get my Pokemon sprites, I go to Bulbapedia.com. And you can basically find every sprite of any Pokemon you want on here, of any generation or anything. So just find the sprite you want, copy it, edit, paste it in a new layer, keep canvas size, and then there you go. You make it as big as you want, as far as you want, put them anywhere on here. Uh, that's cool. Okay, and then you're going to want to save as. Okay, I'm gonna save as Pokey on side bar one. Okay, right now that we saved that, we're gonna wanna go open Camtasia Studios. Okay, right here. This should only take a few seconds, it kind of has slow loading time. Uh, I'll skip ahead till it opens. Okay everyone, it opened. Okay, here's where you can find your recent projects and everything. Uh, we're just going to go pick Pokemon Red. So I can show you how to edit the video. Skin, slow loading times. Okay, here we go. Now you're going to want to import media. Go to pictures. You see. on your sidebar. Can't see. I probably already got some yet. Okay. Hmm. Where about the bell? Here we go. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is Delete this off of here. 
Let's see. Find on the timeline where you want to add it. Then click. Add the timeline. Actually, I said that wrong. I mean, add as call out. And here you go. Here's a little sidebar. You probably want to zoom in to make it longer. You know, you can make it as long as you want. Now, it's going to show up here on your screen. And you're going to want to come down and make it as long as your screen to fit perfectly in there. Alright, there you go. Also, when you first open a video, depending on what size you make it, you might have to go to zoom and pan and change the width and height of it of where it picks up the video. See, this video is already done, it's already edited in. But that is basically it, guys. That is how you make the sidebars and edit them into Camtasia Studio 7. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.